What are some supplements that you can take to alter your blood pressure? In this video, I'm going to tell you exactly what they are. Now the first thing you should know is I'm a big, big advocate of eating regular food. I don't think we can take 4,000 supplements and correct a bad diet. So I believe that most of these nutritional uh, tricks that we use to reduce blood pressure should really be used by getting the right foods. But nonetheless, there are some couple key uh, ingredients that you want to know about. And also, quite frankly, some people just don't like the taste of uh, certain foods. So if you don't like the taste, for example, of fish, how else are you going to get fish oil? So here is my list of what people can take to help with their blood pressure. The first is magnesium. Mag now magnesium is found in a lot of different foods. Uh, it's found in anything healthy, it's probably got magnesium in it. So any type of, uh, anything that's green, uh, fruit, vegetables, that type of thing. So the more fruit and vegetables you're eating, the more magnesium you're getting. Now if you're not eating those, then you need to supplement. And usually I tell patients about 500 milligrams is about right for magnesium. Calcium is another one. Uh, if you're not getting enough calcium in your diet, then I always suggest uh, calcium is be a good thing to take. 1500 milligrams is about right. Make sure and take the calcium citrate and not the calcium carbonate, which is often sold in uh, kind of the lower priced uh, products. So calcium citrate is what you want. Potassium. Potassium is found again in a lot of uh, vegetables and things like that. So if you're not eating a lot of that, take potassium. Um, that's something that can alter your blood pressure. Folic acid in particular, folic acid is a B vitamin and usually I don't tell people to take one specific B vitamin as opposed to the other. Usually I tell people to take a multi B, uh, so the thing is is that, uh, or a B complex that is, and usually that has enough folic acid in it if you're taking a high powered uh, B complex. So, the best thing to do would be if you need to get folic acid, you could do that, but I would go ahead and get just a B complex that has all the B vitamins in them. Coenzyme Q10, now this is a good one. This is a case where I think that supplementation is actually a great idea because we just don't get enough of the coenzyme Q10 uh, through natural methods. So the thing is, is that usually about 300 uh, milligrams of coenzyme Q10. Coenzyme Q10 has a lot of different effects. Um, it's supposed to be excellent for our heart, but as well as our blood pressure. So I recommend that as well. Garlic. Now this is the uh, this is the thing that we should all be eating, and I, I personally love garlic. The only problem is if you eat raw garlic, you stink. So the thing is, some people just don't like the smell. So there are products out there that do not smell. Uh, if you can get about 500 milligrams of garlic in you per day, it actually has tremendous amount of benefits cardiovascular wise, as well as blood pressure, which blood pressure is a cardiovascular problem. Um, some of the ways you could get more garlic in you is to mix it with other foods. I love garlic in a, in a dish called bruschetta or bruschetta. Um, man, it just tastes good, but again, it's something that if you eat a lot of raw garlic, you tend to smell like raw garlic. And because I'm a chiropractor, I work on people's bodies, we're getting close to people's bodies, it's not, it's not ideal to do that, so I'll eat garlic on the weekends and stuff like that. But if you can get more garlic in you, it'll definitely help your blood pressure. Fish oil is another one that if you're not eating enough fish, you're not getting enough fish oil. Also there is concern about mercury in uh, wild uh, fish. So the thing is you can get a very good uh, fish oil supplement. I've had a number of patients that have complained that certain supplements they get the burpees and they burp up the fish oil. I personally have used uh, the zone diet uh, fish oil as well as the soroil with a little bit of orange in it. The soroil is actually my favorite and if you can get about three grams of fish oil in you per day uh, that has a tremendous effect on blood pressure as well as other things. So unless you're eating a lot of fish, um, you simply need to supplement your diet with fish oil. I sometimes do eat fish and so on days when I eat, uh, for example, trout or salmon, those are my two favorites personally, um, I just won't take a fish oil supplement because I figure I'm getting enough you know, in a big old salmon. So that's something that you should do. 
Vitamin D is another uh, tremendous vitamin. Now, vitamin D, uh, the reason why I think you see so many people taking vitamin D supplements is because a lot of people are deficient in vitamin D. And they're deficient in vitamin D simply because they're not out in the sun. Our bodies produce vitamin D, and if we were out in the sun for 15, 20 minutes with our, the majority of our skin exposed to the sun, there would be literally no such thing as vitamin D deficiency. The problem is the sun is now a four-letter word, and for justif good justification, skin cancer. Nobody wants skin cancer. I myself am a cyclist, and when I go out and I ride for numerous hours out in the middle part of the day, which I try not to do, I try to ride early morning or later in the day, but ultimately when I go out into the sun, man, I cover up, and, and what I do is I'll use like a 50 sunscreen. I'll use a copper tone with zinc in it. So even then though, um, sometimes I come home and I did get a little bit of a tan. So vitamin D is something that you really, uh, I know a lot of people on YouTube are not from Southern California like we are, where it's sunny basically uh, 363 days a year. Um, but if you're not exposed to the sun, then you need to get tested. And if you're low on vitamin D, then supplementing with vitamin D can have tremendous effects on uh, your blood pressure. So in all cases, uh, because this is YouTube, of course, ask your doctor if these supplements would be beneficial or if there's any contraindications. Sometimes uh, certain foods are contraindicated with certain drugs, and if you're on a lot of drugs, you wanna just make sure your doctor knows you're on these things. That would be my advice, and I always tell my patients to do that. I work with a number of uh, uh, medical doctors here in town. Uh, I do have a good relationship with uh, medical doctors here in town. They know that I'm not, uh, I'm not some wacko, and anytime I do recommend someone try to alter their blood pressure through natural methods such as deep breathing exercises or any type of supplements, I always let them know and consult with their doctor and make sure there's no drug interaction. So that's something that would be important. If you found this video helpful and you're gonna try this, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. If you have any specific questions regarding these supplements, go ahead and ask them in the comments section below. I'd be happy to answer them. Thanks for watching.